This is Minister Paul in Northern California on 7-8-2013. It's 3.15 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We've had an airliner crash, multiple earthquakes all around the world. We've had demonic activity. Uh, we've had a, a train derail. I don't know if you know this or not, but there's a, a testing, the latest testing at Fukushima is showing the highest reading of this radiation that is ever read. There's uh, eight bodies have been found in this uh, crude oil train wreckage, bringing the to death toll to 13 over the weekend, with 37, yes, 37 people still missing. There's uh, Egypt basically in a state of civil war, and we're not getting full coverage on that. A fire has broken out about 40 minutes from my house and quickly grown to 55 acres. Um, there's evil everywhere I look. There's been a series of uh, grievous, sorrowful tragedies since I made this prophecy called Brace Yourself. Um, matter of fact, if you go to the prophecy list of those who are truly hearing from God, Someone had asked me the other day, about 75% of the prophecies I have made, and I'm not bragging or boasting, I'm giving God glory. Um, since uh, uh, July of last year, July 5th, so basically uh, one year, 75% of those have come to pass, and the other 25% are, uh, I would say, half of those are in the tribulation period and I'm not here I'm a pre-trib rapture believer if you don't like that um, then I'm not gonna hold it against you but don't come here and try to dictate to me or bring discord to my channel I made a decision yesterday when I felt an evil spirit attack me and the spirit was in a person who was uh, in love with the world and I called him out and I made a decision at that point that I'm not going to allow that. It's happened again today. Um, it, ever since I made this, this prophecy video on uh, Brace Yourself. Um, and then the second follow-up video on uh, soul winning for family members. I've under, been under demonic attack. People are coming from just random places. People I haven't seen in months are coming to question my prophecies people who are visiting psychics and mediums and all of a sudden they just felt deep can't don't you understand this is the work of the enemy and not God for someone who's vis say, visiting a psychic or a medium to all of a sudden you haven't heard from them in months to come and question your prophecy well I've made a decision to call it out you know as Christians we are not doormats we love people and we patiently endure, but nowhere in God's holy word and nowhere in the gift of discernment that God gives me am I to tolerate evil. Matter of fact, I'm to rebuke it and expose it. So if evil comes on my channel, uh, I will be rebuking it. I'm not going to let no doors open or nobody uh, take away from the precious uh, holy words that, that the Holy Spirit has given me. I'm going to take a stand in my armor and having done all to stand and I'm going to use the sword of the spirit and I'm not going to let people walk over me in these last days. That's why we're called soldiers of the cross. That's why they walked around enduring hardships of uh, doing the work of the, an evangelist and making full proof of their ministry. They did not let people walk on them. Now sure there was times when they were taken into prison or shipwrecked. That's called trials and tribulations. But Jesus Christ commanded them. They went into a they went into a certain house, and the house didn't want to hear what they had to say. It said, "Depart from them, wipe the, the the sand off the bottom of your feet." So we need to rightly divide this word because there is a demonic uptick, and people are coming, uh, especially p people operating in the prophetic or trying to reach souls. People are coming out of the blue to come and attack you, and uh, I'm telling you, look. You can be gentle, you can be nice, but you don't compromise what God, the walk and the calling God gave you because the people didn't give it to you, Satan didn't give it to you, God gave it to you, and 
And you got to stand up in obedience to God, not the people, not the world. Too many people still in love with this evil, stinking world. I'm going to release this video. Of, I have about 20, 24 uh, hawks or eagles in my backyard. But, but just recognize that if you come onto my channel talking something that doesn't line up with the Word of God, and I think it's discord, you know, I asked my wife, do I let it stand after a hundred people have seen it and and not respond to it or everybody says ignore it or delete it once once they've said it because I'm not gonna let people chose close down comments on my channel I want to hear what I want a fellowship I don't want to dictate with no comments and no ratings I, I, I'm, I'm on YouTube to fellowship this is this is you know this is a way for me to fellowship I see us as the bride of Christ and if you come in so in discord and division, you know what? I'm going to let you know that's what you're doing. You're so in discord and division. It may just lead to your deliverance or you may just learn something. And I'm not always perfect either. And I hope people call me out. But, the, but if something ungodly and I discern ungodliness or what you're saying is absolutely wrong, like there's no rapture when I know there is and there always has been, been saved uh, almost 35 years now and studied the Word of God in, in three different Bible colleges and from some 17 year old who just you know you know saw a video and think they know everything is gonna come question what I call an elder with, you know with no doctrinal backing, backing on it and the discernment is off I'm gonna start calling you out so if you come to this channel with nonsense you're you will get called out and I pray that the Lord will you will use it to open your eyes because if you think there's no rapture you're spiritually blind if there's no rapture what is our hope what is the hope that we maintain I've noticed these post tribbers they're called they don't believe in a rapture they believe we all go through the same thing even the ones that have been obedient to Christ they all have to go through the same evil horrible tribulation that's coming upon this world quickly uh, I've noticed they have no joy they don't uh, represent have any of the fruits of the Spirit, and they have no hope. And that's why they're all sad, and they're constantly attacking others. I don't see pre-tribbers, as they're called, people who believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, going out and attacking them. Test the spirits. Use discernment. Why are they attacking us? Uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, what I think? It's a spirit. And I pray for their deliverance, and I've said my peace. And you know what? My piece is stand. And if a lot of people may not like it, click on sub. Go to somebody else. Well, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. And I'm not going to let you walk over me either. You got it? Hallelujah. That's tough love right there. Shalom.